Rachel. The hell did you order from Amazon, man? The box is fucking huge. Rachel. Bro. What the fuck is this? This thing is almost as tall as me. What the hell did she order, man? Coke on deck. What's up, Dream Chasers? What's up, Ranch Gang? It's your boy Kevin Van Voris checking in for another video for you guys today. So it's Friday, it's the end of the week. Hopefully, you guys had a great week. This week, obviously, for me, has been very um, well, not as planned as far as car things go. So, um, a lot of you guys on the last video that Rachel was in her driving around the track hawk. I was talking in the beginning about the Hellcat. That video obviously if you didn't know was filmed before all that happened. Um so I'm going to give you guys a quick update on the car. What's going to be happening is um the car is going to be going to Oklahoma. So um I have think I found the solution. I'm not 100% sure yet. So my car is going to be picked up in Houston. It's going to be trailered all the way to Tulsa, Oklahoma. And it hasn't got delivered yet. It hasn't got picked up yet. It was supposed to get picked up today. But of course, things never happen as they're supposed to. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, so you guys might be asking, why is the car headed to Oklahoma? So um, my buddy Scott who uh, follows myself and my brother on YouTube. Um, awesome dude. He's in Oklahoma. And he has said to me, hey man, get the car here and I will drop the engine and transmission for you, no problem. So um, instead of trying to find a shop in Houston, which, um, you know, is probably, it's not that there's shops that I don't trust in Houston. There's plenty of shops in Houston. It's that, I need it done relatively quickly um, because what's going to have to happen regardless of the situation is for sure brand new pistons. My rod should be fine. I am crossing my fingers that my head is okay. Otherwise we're going to have to obviously resurface the head and do all that fun stuff and maybe buy a couple of valves. I don't know though. Um, I might get lucky. For sure we're going to be swapping out the pistons. The rods that I have in the car are extremely nice. My tuner said the rods that I have in my car are nicer than the ones in his. Um, but the pistons that um, Blank decided to choose are not the greatest. O honestly, his, his quote was, when you told me what pistons were in your car, I wanted to throw up a little bit. <laughs> um, so what's going to be happening is he doesn't want me using those pistons. So obviously, number seven has to come out. Just take them all out. Um, also the cam that is in there, he doesn't really want to use it. So we're going to be switching out the cams. Also, I am trying to work with Demon Performance on either parts or whatever. So that way I can get those things to the car and, um, hopefully make this like as inexpensive as possible. But I do have to give a huge shout out to Scott because, um, he is offering his time and he's not going to charge me. So I really appreciate it. I told him I will send as many dick pics as I have to to him. No, I'm just kidding. But um, it's just like, I really appreciate it. Um, he offered and I was like, dude, are you sure? He's like, yeah, no problem. So uh, he actually built his engine. So I'm in good hands. And his buddy um, is going to be helping him also. He's been a Dodge tech for I don't know how many years. And you know, they both have Hellcats, which is nice. Um, so that's what's the update on the Hellcat. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, what's in the box? Well, to be honest, I don't know. So when we get home, we're gonna go open that motherfucker and see what's in the box. Or we head to the house, I gotta go to work for an hour, um, six o'clock on a Friday. 
I got a couple clients left for the day. So if you guys are new to the channel, maybe you just stopped in because I don't know why. Um, this is my gym that I own. So there's the drive-through for the cafe. Car washes on the back side. And then look at look at my wife. Hold on, where's she at? Learning how to park in backwards and stuff. I'm so proud of her. Look at that. That is a big motherfucker to park, man. So uh, anyways, so this is the gym I own, and this is uh, why I'm currently in a crazy amount of debt. Because, uh, well, opening the best gym in Texas was not fucking cheap! But, anyways, I will see you guys after work. We'll head home. We'll unbox whatever's in the box. Because I don't know what's in the box! All right, so if you hung around the video this long, so I guess this wasn't something Rachel ordered. So um, I bought this hood probably two months ago. This is a used Black Ops Auto Works. Uh, what is the hood called? It's the same exact hood I had on my last Trackhawk. To me, this is my favorite hood uh, on the Trackhawks or Jeeps in general. I know everybody does the Demon hood. It looks good, but this Viper style hood looks way better. So I bought this used. <clears throat> it was in total 700 bucks um, plus shipping, which was another like 600. So I bought this two months ago from a guy in Florida. So actually I went to Florida a couple or a month ago uh, to take Rachel on a little vacation. Um, Cause you know, sometimes when you work a lot, you gotta make sure your wife's happy. So took Rachel on a little, little weekend vacation to Florida. Funny thing was the dude was actually living um, <laughs> where we were at in Siesta Key. So I was like, cool. I went there I just shipped it. So I shipped it through FedEx. They did an amazing job. This is how you should ship hoods. You've got foam, wood. So. This made it all the way, no scratches, no nothing. The great thing about this hood is it already has these vents. If you guys don't know, those vents are fucking expensive. The vents alone will be 300 bucks. So um, this hood, we'll be doing an installation video probably tomorrow. I don't know if we'll put that up yet. Um, now you might be asking yourself, dude, you just fucked up your motor, like your engine's all fucked up, why would you buy a hood? Again, I wouldn't have bought this. <laughs> If I would have known that everything was screwed up with my engine, so I bought this two months ago. Actually, I bought this hood before I even took delivery of the Trackhawk, uh, or even before the Trackhawk got there. I had this hood purchased. Um, it was a good deal. It's brand or it's used, but it's in brand new condition. Um, I'm probably gonna wrap it at some point, anyways. But it's a great hood. It's my favorite hood that Black Ops Auto Works makes. Um, the one thing that everybody always complains about on the jeeps is you can't tell the srt jeep from the track hawk all you gotta do is change the hood it changes the look completely and um if you guys know my old track hawk which to me was a game changer for the track hawks all over being the first bagged one and all that good stuff i was the first to do a lot of things to the track hawk um we're gonna do some crazy shit with this one once i get the engine figured out so again i already bought this so i know some people are like dude you already why'd you buy a hood Trust me, I wouldn't have bought the hood if I knew my engine was going to be all fucked up. So, um, good news is though, my, the company just called me. My car is going to get picked up on Monday. It'll be in Oklahoma on Tuesday. So, um, anyways, this is the unboxing video. Um, I mean, you guys can tell the quality of the carbon fiber. I mean, it's amazing. So, in this hood, 
because the crappy thing is I, I look <laughs> I messaged my buddy who owns black ops auto works I'm like dude I'd love to get a hood and he's like bro I can't make any hoods carbon fiber is pretty much on back order because of all the virus stuff that's going on so you can't even order carbon fiber hoods right now you you can get the um whatever the other style is the uncarbon fiber ones <laughs> um, but i didn't want that so because at least for the time being this car is not gonna be wrapped and i think this carbon fiber color on that it's gonna look sweet so um i got lucky found this used but anyways that's it for today's video hopefully you guys like the hood we'll do an installation video for anybody who needs to install hood it's fairly straightforward and fairly easy um, the good thing about the black ops hoods is they're they line up pretty well um, and we'll get that done and I'll show you guys and then if anybody wants an OEM hood holler at your boy because this will be for sale <laughs> anyway thank you guys for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed it make sure you guys follow me at Kelly boy Kev on Instagram and on snapchat my name is Kevin Van Voris I'm out this bitch